This video is about when Einstein got sick and his friend Alexander Moskovsky, this guy, gave him a problem to solve, to entertain him, and to keep him distracted. However, it took him less time to solve the problem than it took his friend to design it. Anyway, here is the question. Let's say you have a clock and it's 12 o'clock. If you swap the two hands of the clock, you still have a valid time. But if, for example, it's 3 o'clock, swapping the two hands doesn't make sense. It doesn't show a valid time. Now the question is when and how often swapping the hands works. Pause the video if you like to give it a try and when you are ready, keep watching. Okay, before we go through the solution, the reference for this video is the book Algebra Can Be Fun by Jakub Prelman. I put a link down below. Let's say it's 12 o'clock, so both of the two hands are at number 12. Sometime later, we are here. The circle is divided into 60 segments. Every five segment is one hour for the other hand, but every 60 segment is one hour for the minute hand. Let's say so far have covered X segment with the other hand and Y segments with the minute hand. For example, in this picture, X is almost 28 and a half and y is almost 38 and a half. Now, the number of hours after both hands stood at 12 is going to be x divided by 5 minus y divided by 60. This is going to be a whole number between 0 and 11. That is how many full hours have passed after 12 o'clock. Let's call it m. Now, if you switch between x and y, you get this. Again, it's going to be a whole number between 0 and 11, and we're going to call it n. And we have a system of equations for x and y, which we can solve, and you get this. m and n are whole numbers or integers from 0 to 11. So it seems you have 12 positions for M and 12 positions for N. So in total, it seems 144 positions. But remember that the case for 0 and the case for 11 are the same. Both of them show the 12 o'clock. So you have 143 different positions. Let's see some examples. We we'll start by some examples that M and N are equal. Let's say m equals n equals 1. In this case, x equals y equals 5 and 5, 11. That means a little bit more than 5 minutes after 1 o'clock. Of course, in this case, both hands are overlapping, and if you swap them, nothing changes. Another case is m equal to n equal to 3. In this case, you get x and y both of them equal to 16.36, which gives you a little bit more than a quarter after 3. But we can have also different examples where m and n are different numbers. Let's see an example where m is 8 and n is 5. And that is almost 28 and a half minutes past 8 o'clock. If you swap the two hands, you still get a valid time. It's about 18 and a half minutes to 6 o'clock. You can easily prove that all the 143 different positions are equally spaced around the clock. And that is how you solve this problem. For more videos like this, visit the channel and thanks for watching.